What's up guys? So I haven't really made any videos lately because I've been busy, but now that it's summer I should be able to make some more videos and do more projects. So I bought this 900 megahertz 200 milliwatt FPV system from Hobby King, and I thought it came with a power supply, but it doesn't. So I'm going to show you how to make one. First, you need a plug that plugs into your receiver. I just got this from an old laptop charger, but you can buy yours. And you need a battery plug, a solder iron, and some solder. First, you want to strip all the wires on your battery plug and the plug that goes in your receiver. Then you want to pull all the little wires back and you'll find an insulated wire. The insulated wire is your positive and the little wires are your negative. So strip the positive about halfway down so you can solder it but it doesn't come in contact with the negative like this. Okay, so now you can put your heat shrink on but I already did that and then you can fray out the positive leads and push them together and once you push them together you can twist it so it's strong and you can just put it on your soldering iron and solder it so now you can just lay it on your soldering iron like this if you don't have any helping hands but if you do you should probably use them because it would probably work better. But I don't, so I'm doing this. Once it's hot enough, you can put your solder on. And you'll know it's hot enough because the solder just melts on the wires without touching the soldering iron. So, after you're done, it should look like this. And you can put your heat shrink on. Like this. So now, you want to do the same thing with the negative. Put your heat shrink on and then fray it out and push them together and twist it. Okay, you can solder it just like you did with a positive once it's hot enough. And make sure you put enough solder on because if you don't have enough, it won't be a strong solder joint. Once it's done, it should look like this. And you can test it by pulling on it to make sure it's strong and not a cold solder joint. Then you can plug it in with your 3 cell battery and make sure it works. Mine works and it's on channel 3, that's why it says 3. So thanks for watching, I hope this helped and if it did, like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, bye.